Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. And like I said yesterday, major storm cycle setting up for the west with four to five different storm systems all lined up, going to rotate through this very large trough of low pressure that I'll show you. But first, Kirkwood, literally just starting to see some snow there. You've got a lot of snow. This is literally just getting started there. Um, so again, that's Kirkwood up there in uh, Tahoe, California. Um, let's go to Schweitzer. You've got a you've got a snowy period ahead as well. You're just starting to see some snow there. Should be a great day of skiing at Schweitzer today, tomorrow, and probably the day after that as well with this blow off snow from these storm systems rolling into parts of uh, northern Idaho and northwest Montana. So we're looking good. I want to show you the pattern. I talked about this yesterday, this very large dip in the storm track, this trough that's developing off the west coast. You can see it happening, that big red low right there. So what will end up happening is all the pressures will continue to drop to about three, three standard deviations below the 30-year average. In other words, this is going to end up being a big deal. And all the energy will rotate into the trough, and then at times it will get ejected into California, producing these waves of heavy snow. And then that would then move into the interior, and that's why it's going to continue to snow in this area for a long time, because this pattern is going to be hard to break, and, and, and again, prolonged into the uh, into the new year. So that's the uh, the pattern. Let's look at the future uh, position of this. This is the American GFS model. Let me take you into a Thursday morning. Look at that heavy snow, west coast, Pacific Northwest, high Sierra, snow being blown into Idaho, the Tetons, Utah, and into Colorado during the day. Here's Friday morning, same thing, heavy snow, interior. Um, and by the time we get in, this is Christmas morning, new storm hitting the Pacific Northwest, headed for California. It will do the same exact thing, push snow into the interior. So this is now Monday morning right here. Let me just show you Sunday. I think I skipped there Sunday morning. So there's Monday morning, another storm. I mean, you get the idea. It's storm after storm. And then on Tuesday, that moves through uh, Utah, Colorado, and it's out of here. And then we look to Wednesday. Next storm hits California. It does the same thing, push the snow into the interior. Here's the, the 30th, Thursday. Um, here is Friday, the last day of the year. Look at that snow across a large sector of the west, and then by the first major storm taking shape for the interior. I mean, so there, it is just, literally just storm after storm. Um, if this all comes together, we're going to see a major avalanche cycle across the back country of the, uh, of the west. Let me do my snow uh, forecast here in uh, two phases. So basically today through the 26th, one to two feet, over a large section of the west uh, through many ski areas, Colorado, Utah, Wyoming. Look at California, my goodness, 30 to 70 inches of snow, big snow Pacific Northwest and parts of the interior BC. So that's phase one. Let me look at uh, phase two here. This will run us the 27th through the end of the year, another one to two feet on top of all of that. And, and even with the first wave, that first chart I showed you, let me go back to that in fact there are going to be isolated three-foot pockets here as well. I mean, it should be obvious by the numbers. Um, so here is that phase two again. We add an, a, additional accumulations on top of this. That's why I don't think there's any question. We're going to be measuring in feet. And a lot of ski areas uh, by, by the 31st and the 1st and the 2nd. So uh, that's the other phase. I've got a snow plume up here by request. This is for Steamboat. Um, you can see I mean, it, it could snow a little bit almost every single day through the end of the year at Steamboat, Alta, um, Snowbird, Park City, uh, Wolf Creek in Colorado, Silverton, Crested Butte, Aspen Snowmast, Grand Targhee, Jackson Hole, you name it. It may snow a little bit every single day through the end of the year and when that's how we reach these big totals. So there you go. That's the way it looks right now. Again, if this plays out, we're talking about big totals all the way through the first of the new year. So I'll keep an eye on it here. Always appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you have a great Christmas. Take care.